Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, Silver Centurion and Hulkbuster Arena is over. Round two is done. It's in the books. I went for the five star Silver Centurion. Uh, I stopped at about 60 million, figured that should be enough to get him. All right, so we're going to find out if I got him. And we're going to take a look at the leaderboards and see if we recognize any names, uh, give any shout outs uh, that may be warranted. Uh, if I look a little tired or sound a little tired, it's because I am tired. Um, my sister wasn't feeling well. She hadn't been feeling well for the last few days. And we decided to take her to the hospital just in case um, she had checked her blood sugar and it was a little high. And if you recall, uh, she had, was that ketoacidosis or something like that? Um, and she's been doing much better. She's not on insulin or anything like that. Um, but with it being that high and she hadn't even eaten much that day, uh, we were concerned. And so we took her there. We waited for a long while. Uh, of course, they wouldn't let you wait in the, uh, room there. And, um, so eventually we just came on home thinking maybe they would keep her, uh, overnight, but I got here. And of course I tried to stay up as late as I could. Um, they hadn't seen her for a long while. It was well after midnight and finally I fell asleep. So she's home now. I don't know how long, uh, it was before they saw her. Uh, but she's home now. I don't know what happened, what they said. Uh, they did put her on an IV to get the blood sugar down. All right. So that's just a little bit of uh, history. And that's why this video is coming out now and not, you know, last night when I normally would have done it. All right. Well, let's take a look. You can see I haven't been doing much arena, my version of much after that grind. Uh, just starting the four star featured here. The uh, five star featured, I've run my six stars uh, one time and I'm going to run them again. I haven't run them today yet. So uh, in a little bit, we'll run those again. I got the T4 basic done and nothing else so far, but I've got two days, six hours, plenty of time. So a little bit of a break. All right. And we got rank 63. Uh, I was pretty sure that I got Silver Centurion. I haven't missed a champion that I've gone for yet since I've been playing uh, because I usually go for overkill. Uh, the four star I got in round one. And of course, we don't look at the three star arena. Um, and the four star basic, I just put up milestones. All right, so let's start in the four star basic arena. And you can see I stopped right after I got the milestone. I didn't even finish uh, the round. Now, in case you hadn't heard, and I am very excited about this, the arenas are going to be changing. Uh, the arena that's going on right now, the uh, reworked Champions Arena, is going to be the last arena where we have five of these arenas to do. So you will not see me going through all of them like I'm doing right now after this next one. So next week, uh, Thursday, with the uh, Shung Chi Arena, that one is going to be two arenas. It's going to be a basic and a featured arena. Each one of them is going to have a six star champion as you know the top ranked rewards and you're going to get the four star and the three star as um milestones and the five star you will get if you miss the six star so they did this before, like long time ago, but this is a little different. They didn't do the milestones thing, but say you're going for the six star and you miss, well, you're going to get the five star. 
That's that's kind of how the arenas used to be a long time ago. I wasn't really a big fan of that, but at least you'll get something. You'll get a five star, even if you don't get the six star. Now, my problem is if I'm going for the six star, that's what I want. I don't want the five star. In my situation here, say the five star is a champion I already have. And he's awakened or she's awakened. And, you know, maybe even Max Sig. The five star does me no good. At my point in this game, I'm kind of looking for the six stars. I'm looking to build my six star roster. So there's going to be a six star featured that's going to be like top 100. And those, and this is what I understand, those who don't make the top 100, as long as they make the top 500, they will get the five-star featured champion. So uh, we don't know what the cutoffs are going to be. No one knows. It, it's it's going to be very interesting. But I like the uh, change because it is a big quality of life change for those of us who grind the arena all the time and who often go for milestones like this arena right now i'm going for milestones and with the new arenas it's going to be so much easier one of the things that i personally just this is my personality i don't like spreading my time around i like to do things sequentially if you know about the different mind types, you know, concrete, sequential, you know, uh, random, all that stuff. I'm not random. I'm very sequential. And so I prefer to focus on a particular task, get it done before I move on to the next one. Um, all right. Here we go. Four star featured. Uh, now, just imagine what we're doing here is a good example of what I like to do. See, I went to the four-star basic. We went all the way down the list. Then we came over here. That is how I like doing everything sequentially. Get one thing done before you move on to the next. But the way that these arenas are set up, it's the equivalent of me going to the four star basic, doing a little bit, then switching over here, doing a little bit, then going to the five star featured um, leaderboard, and then doing a little bit. Can you imagine, you know, going to the four star featured and looking at maybe the top 10, even though we can look at the top 200, just do the top 10 of, of all the arenas, and then go back and do that again, top you know, the next 10, top 20, that would drive me crazy. And the way the arenas are set up now, that's what I do. You know, I, I do all the arenas and if I can help it, and that's one of the reasons that uh, I used to uh, rank up my four-star champions, not just because it's fun, but because of the arena. My goal in ranking up a lot of four-star champions originally, my main goal was so that I could do the four-star basic in one go. <clears throat> that way, I don't have to run around to the different uh, arenas. That was my goal. With this change, it's not going to be an issue. I no longer have to worry about the... Um, milestones of a four-star basic arena and if i want the four-star i can just grind in either of the arenas not only that but the amount of units that you can get because i know a lot of people were concerned about that the amount of units you can get is actually going up not by much like five but that's still five units more that's available rather than what a lot of people were worried about, um, whether the units would be less. 
And of course, I'm worried about it because I don't buy units. This is how I get my units in the arena. So if they did anything to hurt the uh, unit gain, it hurts my progression. Uh, Brian Grant, he is uh, free to play, uh, as I am. Solar Flare, congratulations. I'm not sure if that's our Solar Flare, though. Um, I'm, I'm trying to look. I, I can't remember uh, your in-game name, how you spelled it. But congratulations if that's you. If it's not, somebody loves your name. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, all in all, I actually do like this change. But we're going to see how it goes. Um, but it's going to make my grinding a lot easier. OK, um, but like I was saying, Brian Grant, he, uh, like myself, is free to play. Um, we were both when we first heard about these changes to the arena, we were initially we were like, yes, yes. And then we like six star arenas are coming. OK. And then we're like, wait a minute. If you're combining them, what's going to happen to our units? You know, um, not everybody was concerned, you know, spenders, they don't consider, they don't concerned about that. Uh, the integral congratulations, man. Um, but yeah, spenders aren't really concerned because if they need units, they just buy them, you know, and they're good. Uh, yin smoke. Woo -hoo -hoo. All right. Um, let me, let me look real quick. I'm, I probably missed. Uh, some, but I didn't see anyone other than the ones that I shouted out uh, that I recognized here. Let me just go back through real quick. See if I missed anybody. Because I'm so tired. I, my eyes, oof. I was, uh, I was knocked out, boy. And I got up late. I haven't done any arena yet it's 7 a.m and i am normally awake at like 4 4 30 but i didn't get to bed until almost that time so there was no way i was gonna get up at least not without an alarm and i try not to do that to myself jar myself awake like that no i think a lot of people may have gotten him round one so yeah man i'm excited about that uh arena that's probably uh the biggest uh news that i saw in the dev diary for me um there were a lot of goodies in there um i didn't really make a video on it but i talked about it uh in the uh stream all right so that's the score I put up. You can see I stopped right when I got 60 million. I stopped. I had that uh, day two. And uh, I said, yeah, let me stop. So let's see who got this guy. Now, he's not good. OK, um, at least not that I have seen. Yep. There's Yin spoke again. Um. But I wanted to add him to my roster, and he's a tech champion. Uh, Darkside, congratulations, man. But uh, I wanted to add him to my roster. He is a tech champion, and we are lacking tech champions. You know, uh, Faz, congratulations. So I've been getting a lot of tech resources. I still have a uh, tech catalyst in my overflow that I need to use. I have a T5 basic uh, that's about to expire. So the next level up that comes around, I need to use up some of these things. And I had no one that I really wanted to use them on. I mean, I, I still had some that I could, but at least with him, I can get him to like rank three and I can use up some of those resources without using up my T2 alphas, you know? Infinity MJ, congratulations. Uh, Dakish, congratulations, man. Oh, yeah. All of y'all were crazier than me. Like I said, I stopped. I was not trying to put up any kind of really, really high score. Uh, I knew he went pretty low. There I am, 
Congratulations, Lord Shadow. All right. Uh, let's see. So zero mutant. Uh, Gray Wolf. Congratulations. Uh, ben Riley. Congratulations. And ooh, coat hanger. Got yourself a new tin can. Congratulations. All right. But yeah. Now, uh, the other thing that the arena is going to change, of course, it's going to change uh, these videos here. Uh, Big Sexy, what it do? Congratulations, man. Um, it's going to change these videos. I don't know how I'm going to do them. But looking at the leaderboards, we're going to have only two arenas to look at. Uh, is it going to be the same top? 200 they're going to show in the leaderboards. Are they going to be changing? I don't know. Time to shine. Congratulations, man. Jay Sean. Uh, I don't know what they're doing there, but, you know, right now we have three arenas that we look at. But we'll go down to two. And it's going to be it's going to be very interesting because. With both of these arenas, you're going to have to decide. Are you going for the six star? Because I believe it's going to be a six star featured or a six star basic champion. And I'll tell you right now, my normal way of handling this, because they've done something similar before where they did a big change to the arenas when they added a five star featured arena, that sort of thing. Um, They have... Uh, yeah, like Donut Cop, congratulations, man. Um, but yeah, they have changed it before. And what I usually do, uh, I don't go for the features right away. When there's a basic, I go for the basic. Like, uh, give you an example. When they added a four star, not even the five star, but the four star featured, I didn't go for champions right away. I believe the first one. Oh, was it Killmonger that I went for? But what I did and what I will be doing still is whoever they have for the uh, basic, that's the one I'll go for if I don't have them. So, for example, say they the, the basic arena has a five-star, I don't know, um, just, just imagine, uh, it, I don't think he, he's even existing then. Let me think, uh, five star. Oh, wait, um, black bolt and the six star black bolt. Well, I'm going for him because I don't have him. Now I might wait round one. Like I usually do to see what scores are, are going to be, you know, what we're going to be looking at, but that's how I built up my roster. You know, I go for the champions, the low-hanging fruits, build up my roster so that I can then get bigger and bigger scores. So before I get going in the featured arenas and the scores are likely to be crazy for a while, I don't have the roster that a lot of these spenders do. I just don't. So I'm going to stick with the basics and build my roster up until I can get to the point where I can put up the scores and get the features. Now, um, I might, depending on who the five star is, you know, I might go for the featured uh, five star. So it's going to change things up. It's going to be very interesting. You know, it may be that round one, I go for the uh, basic and the six star basic if I don't have them. And then round two, I go for the five star featured because I still like to pick up the five star featured champions, right? So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Um, I don't know how the cutoffs are going to look. So we're going to all learn that together next week. But that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. If you got the champion, but your name was not mentioned, Either you didn't make the uh, leaderboards or I just missed you. Leave a comment. Let us know what you put up and what you got as a rank. So take care and you all.
Have a blessed day.